Hi, this is Allison Sheridan, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. In Screencast Online Tutorial 821, I demonstrated a tool called MarsEdit, which allows you to write to a blog. In my example, I used WordPress as the blogging platform of choice, and I ran it locally on my Mac, so you could see very quickly the changes I was making to my blog. We got several questions asking, how did I run WordPress on a Mac? I used a tool called MAMP and then installed WordPress into MAMP. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to install MAMP and how to install WordPress into MAMP. It's going to get a little bit technical as we go through the steps to set it up, but once you have it set up, you'll be able to blog locally, which can be very handy in figuring out what you want to do and how you want your site to look before you pay for a hosting platform. If you're planning to do a major upgrade to your blog that you already have online, it can be very helpful to run these tools locally to not mess up your real site while you're figuring out what you want to do. MAMP is available for free at MAMP.info. There's also a pro version available, and I'll briefly describe what the pro version can do, but we'll be focusing on the free version of MAMP. MAMP is an acronym. The M stands for Mac OS, which is our operating system. The A stands for Apache, which will be our web server. The M stands for MySQL, which will be our database. And the P stands for PHP, which will be the scripting language we'll be using. While we won't need to learn a lot about each of these separate components, I think it's important to understand the fundamental basics of what MAMP actually is. Now, we specifically identify the M as Mac OS because there's also LAMP, which runs on Linux, and there's WAMP that runs on Windows. Apache as our web server is the tool that serves up web pages when we request them. You don't have to configure it in here, but it does have to be running. All of the content you create in a blog is put into this MySQL database. We will be creating a database for WordPress, and then when you type a blog post into WordPress, Everything you write will go into that MySQL database. We won't have to learn a lot about databases, but we will touch it a little bit. PHP is our scripting language, and we won't be scripting anything by hand in PHP. We will edit one little file, but that'll be it. The developers over at WordPress.org and the theme developers that you choose will do all of the heavy lifting in writing the PHP code that will allow you to create a website that will look lovely and function properly. WordPress. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member. <laughs>